What do you know about disciples from this? Well, he says, you weren't my words already in you. Disciples are those who take the Jesus at his word by definition. By definition, a follower of Jesus, a Christian, is somebody who takes Jesus at his word. In terms of genuine Jesus and his genuine disciples, that's the score. Genuine followers take genuine Jesus and his genuine word. There is neither intellectual nor spiritual integrity in claiming to be a follower of Jesus and denying plain elements of his word. None at all. Gay Christian? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Battling and fighting against the world, the flesh and the devil, the same way we all have to deal with our temptations and counter our trials. I've got a few. You? Nobody's, nobody's looking at me now. <laughs> nobody's looking away. Yeah, I understand that. It's just I got used to doing this. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I pulled more on you. Well, of course. We all have to deal with our temptations and counter our trials. If you are by nature a homosexual, gay, homosexual gay, why did I do that? I got confused. If you are by natural gay or kleptomaniac or an adulterer or a porn addict or a drink or drug, drug addict or anorexic or bulimic or fraudster or gossip, you are welcome to church. Is that correct? You're welcome to church. Just like the rest of us, if you're battling with whatever haunts and harms you, to rest on the resources of the Spirit, to take Christ at His word, and by grace, to deal with your temptations in the power of the Spirit the way the rest of us have to. Yeah. But if you're take, taking that temptation, the sin you allow it to feed, and rewriting God's word in your heart, rather than having His word remain in your heart, calling wrong, right, and insisting that those who remain in God's word and cling to His truth in their hearts are doing wrong, then God's word is not remaining on, in you. And you're not remaining in the vine. And what I say about the subject to Christ for you? Let me make this clear. If that's you, you're not characterised by what characterises the disciples of Christ. Because disciples take Jesus at his word and remain in the vine. You see, when you discover that part of God's word cuts across what you're comfortable with and what you really rather like in your life, you fundamentally have only two choices. You can remain in him and make sure his words remain in you, or you can step away from the vine and from following Jesus. But you can't keep loudly protesting that you are in the vine, you are a proper Christian, and this part of his word is not acceptable to you. And certainly not that those who say, well, actually, that is his word, are doing something wrong. Because we're not. And that's exactly what Jesus is talking about here, but there's more. Not only do disciples take Jesus at his word, by definition, they're characterised by persistence in going on taking his word into themselves. Now, <clears throat> I know there are people out there who've been along here with us, and the word of God may have bitten them. Much as we might not wish that to be the case, it is the case, and they don't like the feel of its teeth. And I understand that. I understand that a lot. And sympathise with the way that feels. But again, when that happens, you again, you simply have two choices, and this is the way it works out. You can feel the word of God cut you and recoil from what it teaches, and not have God's word remain in you. Or you can feel it cut at something that you love too much, and you can allow that to separate you from the one who has the words of eternal life. And that's the equation. And disciples of Jesus, we're not saying decent people, nice people, moral people, anything of that sort. We're describing specifically the followers of Jesus. They take his word in and they remain in him. With his word always remaining in them. Not slung out when it starts to cut across things that we fancy. So here's how you remain in the vine then. If that's characteristic of a disciple of Christ, if that's by definition what a disciple of Christ is like, here's what remaining in the vine looks like. 